Hey folks, welcome back to another video. At the moment, I often try to approach things differently in the grid. This includes looking at modules from a different perspective. Everything in the grid has only one name. It can be misused for many other purposes. That's what makes it so hard to write a complete guide for the grid or for Bitwig. Everything can be used for everything, and everything depends on the context. This concept, by the way, runs through everything that has anything to do with making music. And that's why experience is worth more than pure knowledge of how a device works or what it's built for. A bad kick drum combined with a bad bass can make the perfect mix. A phaser that was designed for guitars will also work well on a synth lead. A filter that was designed to filter frequencies also makes a great oscillator. Once you get rid of names and categories, you see the world differently and boundaries are removed or blurred. That's also the core of electronic music, in my opinion. To abuse devices properly, alienating them from their purpose and experiencing them again in completely different contexts. Of course, this works in the Bitwig Studio grid as well as outside of it. Let's take the example of the filter that becomes an oscillator again. I remember when the grid was introduced, the question came up how to enter exact frequencies on the oscillator since it only has one input for notes. Well, the answer is the filter allows that. We have a big knob on the filter for the frequency. And when we turn the resonance above 100%, the filter starts to oscillate and we get a sine wave with exactly that frequency. We have a sine wave oscillator with a frequency control. Resonance control became a highly sensitive volume control. We have redefined the filter as an oscillator. We now add an envelope module and a triggers module to trigger it. If we now want to build a percussion element or a kick drum, for example, we can use the frequency control and set the desired fundamental frequency. We can also make use of the envelope out and open the filter accordingly. The opening is equal to a temporary increase of the pitch since we are changing the frequency. With the help of the band module, which is actually meant for changing phase signals, we can make the envelope signal steeper here. If we look at this in the oscilloscope, the concept becomes clearer. So we have limited but still quite good control over both envelopes. If you want, you can also connect two band modules in series. Works the same way. But here you can see that if I had made a tutorial about the band module, I would certainly never think of explaining it in this context. There are hundreds of these alienations. You have to find out by experimenting and trying. Knowing what the module does and how it works alone does not give you the experience of how many different uses you can make of it. It can even turn into the opposite and the knowledge of what the module does can block your view. You wouldn't even think of using a delay for distortion. Why would you? It's a delay and in a completely different category. Breaking down categories in your head can be a difficult thing to do as you can see all over the world when someone drops things into the wrong bucket. Sometimes I even wish I was a beginner again, that I could see things without bias. You can learn a lot even from children. That's why I always advise to try a lot or think of small challenges. So you can say, today I built a patch with as few modules as possible, for instance, or I don't use any envelopes and try to solve it that way. Limit yourself, challenge yourself, practice every day. You always learn something. Limitation is, as always, a key to success and to new knowledge. In today's video, we learned how to use the filter as an oscillator, 
how to build kick drums with it, that you can deform the envelope signals with the phase signal module, that knowledge alone is not everything, and that categories are often a barrier to further development. Thanks for watching, have fun experimenting, give me a thumbs up if you liked the video, subscribe to the channel, and see you next time. Bye.